Voting has now ended in the German parliamentary election and the first exit polls have been released. Angela Merkel's Christian Democrat Party has done better than expected. And some projections suggest it could even end up with an absolute majority. It would be the first time in more than half a century a party has been able to govern without forming a coalition. Let's go live now to RT's Peter Oliver. He is in Berlin following the developments for us. So the exit polls, if they are to be released at this stage, Pete, it looks like a change is on the horizon and, and possibly a very significant one. Well, Angela Merkel is almost certainly going to be elected for a third term as German Chancellor. Um, her CDU party and their Bavarian sister party, the CSU, have taken the lion's share of the vote. Speaking, to, uh, speaking at her party headquarters, Mrs. Merkel said it was a super result. In fact, it's the, it's the, if it, the exit polls are correct, it's the highest uh, percentage that it'll have taken since 1990. So they've done remarkably well, it would seem, the CDU. But it's those that haven't done very well, it seems, are the main challenges that were uh, in this election. The Social Democrats, they have been rather disappointing. We've seen some dejected looking um, SDP uh, campaigners and supporters outside of their party headquarters. Some of people putting that down to what was essentially a gaff prone uh, campaign that was run by Pierre Steinbrück, the challenger to Angela Merkel. That included him at one point giving a middle, making a middle finger gesture towards a uh, journalist during a photo interview for a, a newspaper here. Um, Another party not doing particularly well are the Free Democrats. Now, going into this election, they were the, uh, the coalition partners of Angela Merkel's party. They are, well, struggling to make the 5% threshold, according to exit polls. It seems that they aren't going to be taking up seats in the next parliament. The centre-left have done pretty well. That's the left party and the Greens. Um, another party, though, that could make a bit, quite a bit of difference is Alternative for Germany. The AFD, Alternative for Deutschland, um, are a new party when it comes to, to German politics. Uh, they're a Eurosceptic party, an anti-Euro party. As it stands, they're looking like they're just going to fall short of being part of the, the coalition. But if they get being part of the parliament, I beg your pardon, if they do get in there, they can make quite a bit of difference, though. They are vehemently opposed to a lot of the policies that are being put forward by Angela Merkel. All, of course, is based on the current results of these exit polls. Uh, over the next few hours, then, it's going to become clear who is actually going to be running Germany. When, when will that be, Peter? What, what is the time scale on all of this? Well, it's going to take a little while yet, but what is very interesting, what everybody's looking towards, is who and will be in charge of Germany after these elections. Angela Merkel has got, uh, has taken, as I say, the lion's share of the votes. It would be the first time since 1957 that a party had ruled unilaterally without a coalition. They're, they're very fond of a coalition here in Germany. Um, I mentioned alternative for Deutschland. If they were to get in there, though, Angela Merkel would be perhaps forced to form a coalition. Would she go for the so-called grand coalition between the uh, the CDU and the Social Democrats. Well, we'd have to wait to see if that happened. A lot of Social Democrat supporters would be uncomfortable with that. The last time that happened was in 2005. So it's all going to come out over the, uh, the coming hours to find out just exactly what these, what the firm results are from this election. But it's odds on, it's almost nailed on. Angela Merkel will be the Chancellor for a third term. Peter Oliver, live in Berlin. Thanks very much indeed for that update. Well, what result would be the best outcome, though, for the EU, which has been reeling economically for several years now? Well, earlier I put this question to Dr Max Otter. He's Professor of General and International Business Administration. In some ways, it's a reinforcement of Merkel's policy. I mean, she has yielded a lot. She has yielded German sovereignty. She has sold parts of the country to European pressure. It's all about who decides what in Europe. I mean, is it bilateral deals or is the majority in which Cyprus has the same vote as Germany going to decide on German fiscal policy? And she has given away quite a bit of German national sovereignty. But she's also started to rein in things and uh, to play the game a bit more uh, masterfully. And so um, it's it's an interesting uh, situation to see how this comes out. Of course, it's not really the preferred uh, outcome for southern European countries that has now happened.